Well, you're watching India Today's Mood of the Nation, the most popular opinion poll to really tell you what the 2024 general elections is likely to look like. Uh, the voting patterns uh, on what's going to happen in the run-up to 2024. We have, the, we have the hard data here, and I'm right here in Bengaluru. The back of me is uh, Grand Vidhan Sauda. And with me, I'm going to take you through the five states of South India. That starts with Tamil Nadu. Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and Kerala. We're going to take you through every update. And if I give you a glimpse here into exactly the methodology that we've adopted to give you this opinion poll here, we're looking at nearly uh, this survey itself was conducted right from December 15th all the way to Jan 28th. Uh, we're, and we're looking at the respondents, nearly 35,801 people were consulted. And uh, we got feedback from nearly over a lakh, one lakh, 13,000 people across Lok Sabha constituencies. So this is almost the most certain, accurate opinion poll that we are bringing to you for India today, right here from southern part of India. Has the Modi effect, or will the Modi effect really have an impact on South India? We're going to take you through every analysis at this point. I have with me Nagarjun Dwarkanath, uh, who brings us a perspective from all the five southern states, starting from Karnataka, Kerala, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, we have our guests here, Lavanya Bilal, uh, our BJP guest, Captain Ganesh Karnik. Uh, we also have, uh, if you could Ram introduce... Ramakrishna Upadhyay. Ramakrishna Upadhyay. commentator. He's a political analyst and commentator. So our guests here to give us a glimpse into whether the Modi effect has had an impact on South India. If I could start a quick word, Davinia, what are you expecting? We know that the Congress at this point has, has, has made it look like it's a North versus South fight for 2024. But do you think that will also help you garner votes from southern India in your favor? A uh, small uh, correction, uh, Nabila, it, we are fighting for India, a union of states. We are trying to stop the BJP from the narrative of North versus South. We do not believe in North versus South. That's the first correction I would like to make. And the Modi effect, as you've seen in South India, has not really worked, especially in Karnataka. They expected to sweep the state of Karnataka, but it has not worked in Karnataka. It's not worked in Tamil Nadu. Either as it worked in Telangana. So, um, Modi effect does not really make a difference in South of India. Modi effect does not make a difference in South India. That said, we're still looking at uh, a good number of people uh, in. All right, this is this is uh, going to be a natural phenomenon. We're standing right at the Vidhan Sauda. Public is moving also, about. And also the, today, <laughs> the chief minister meeting around 10,000 people of Janas Pandana program. Right. So, Vidhan That's the chief Sabai's, minister's program right so the behind Vidhan me. is full of people today. Full of people, full jammers, no phone connections. I'm here, the cameras are rolling, and we have our guests giving us their insights. Uh, our BJP spokesperson, uh, Captain, give us a sense on the number of South in, uh, some number of visits that Prime Minister Modi has made to South India at this point. Clearly he's suggesting that the BJP is pushing hard to break through and crack into the southern states. Thanks for this opportunity. And uh, you're talking about the South India. In one single sentence, I'll tell, it is going to be much, much, much better than what it was last time, definitely. And uh, this north-south divide, it is something like kettle calling the cat black. Having initiated the discussion about uh, uh, the devolution of funds and talking that we are going to have a separate uh, country as such, today they are talking of a separate country and north-south divide. It is the other way. When Modi says that Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, it's about India we are talking, it's about Bharat we are talking. And his influence in the southern states also is very, very uh, uh, prominent. And this election results will I definitely bring numbers. out the fact that Modi is a factor and that factor will get us more seats. All right. So as a political analyst, give us your sense on the five southern states. Uh, and I, I, like I did mention, the NDA right now seems quite dominant in the northern part of India. Uh, the Congress has managed to, I don't know if successfully, but they've managed to really project this north-south divide, saying right after they won Telangana, the Congress was quick to say that BJP has been fully, uh, you know, moved out no, of no. southern part of India. Nabila, I think this north-south divide is not going to work. 
because Modi is uh, a, a, a central figure uh, across the country and especially in the south, especially Karnataka. And he has done very well in the last elections. As we know, BJP had the maximum number of seats. They won 25 seats out of 28. And other part of the you know, southern states as well, there is a big push being made, especially in Tamil Nadu, in Andhra Pradesh, in Telangana. All those states, BJP is making a big push. Of course, there are 130 seats in the south, uh, in the five states and one uh, union territory of Puducherry. So, as of now, the BJP has 29 seats. And I think they'll be happy if they can move it by another 10, 15 seats because they are expecting a bonus in the northern states. So in Karnataka, they would like to retain what they had, 25, but probably it's going to be difficult. I would say it's going to be difficult. They may stop around 20, I would say, because the Congress uh, having a state government here and Sidramaya, uh, you know, trying to set a narrative, hopefully will do well for the Congress. Maybe Congress will get about five, six seats. But then, see, you, there is a new uh, element that has been introduced in this election. BJP and JDS are going together. So this is going to bring in a different kind of a dimension to what happened in 2019. So JDS will also be fighting along with uh, uh, BJP, which means that B JDS will also bring in uh, maybe around two or three seats, So, which will add to the NDA kitty. So this is what happening in Karnataka. As far as uh, Tamil Nadu is concerned, I mean, Annamalai is putting his best foot forward, and I'm sure they will make a dent. They have not been able to make a dent so far. All not right. a single seat won so far. And as far as Andhra Pradesh is concerned, there are 25 seats at uh, stake. And TDP is uh, you know, now trying to enter into alliance with the BJP. Okay, so we have to see what happens but, there. Yeah, and what happens there? Uh, and and what, what, what does our survey really suggest? We have our in-house uh, political analyst here, Nagarjun, who's been very closely watching the southern part of India. But before I come to you, Nagarjun, I'm going to cut straight to our first big number that we are getting here. Let me start with Tamil Nadu, the largest state uh, in terms of uh, Lok Sabha capacity uh, with 39 seats. Let's take you through exactly what Tamil Nadu has in store. So, projected seat share in Tamil Nadu, we are looking at, in compared to 2019, uh, the seat share for Tamil Nadu, for the NDA was about 31%. At this point, for 2024, our projections here, our opinion poll survey suggests that it picks up 9%. 40% vote share that NDA uh, as a coalition is likely to get in Tamil Nadu. But the takeaway here is the India Alliance. In Tamil Nadu, the India Alliance is, of course, the ruling DMK and the Congress Party. The ND India Alliance in Tamil Nadu right now to get at least a 5% extra vote share with nearly 48% in their KT. The others, the others, in fact, in 2019 barely had any significance. Uh, though the others at this point might get uh, 12 to 60. That's the vote share that we're looking at. The other smaller parties like the PMK, the DMDK, uh, a few others, the IUML. Now, Nagarjun, if you can cut through the numbers here, we see clearly that in Tamil Nadu, the BJP yet again, as it was in 2019, not making any headway here. Uh, in 2024. Nabil, in fact, the biggest takeaway in the Tamil Nadu numbers are the vote share red reduction of the DMK and the Congress government. It's minus 5% already low. It was 53 before in 2019. Now it's at 48. Seems like some anti-incumbency vote is going towards either AIDMK or either BJP or either smaller parties. But what is uh, seen here is the NDA gain. Uh, now the AIDMK and the BJP are not together. So we'll have to split that vote share and give it to BJP and AIDMK and other smaller parties. But seems like like Mr. Ramakrishna Upadhyay was mentioning, Anamalai factor is working for BJP. Absolutely. His, his yatra that is happening in the last 10 months has gained some traction. So it seems like the uh, BJP might increase their vote share, but seat conversion, we'll have to look forward. But definitely a bigger takeaway for uh, Tamil Nadu BJP is that their vote share was a 3% in 2019 alone. 6% in the local body elections, I think they might be crossing a double digit if, if, if it's a good day, maybe 15%. Wow, uh, Ramila, Ramakrishna, know, see, the BJP's vote share went down from 2014 to 2019, yes. huh. from 5.66 to 3.3. Huh. So that being the case, unless you cross 20, at least 20%, 22, 23%, you're not going to get any seats. That is the reality. And for BJP to jump from three and a half to 22 percent is going to be a huge, huge you know, cost. But so you know, I think probably they'll make a breakthrough and so get what one I see seat. here predominantly in a Dravidian state, the BJP, at least in terms of vote share, they may, they may not or they may well win uh, in, 29, in 2024. But uh, from what we see, vote share, they've certainly improved. Their tally has improved and this is 
sans the AI DMK. They've cut off, they have no alliance with the AI DMK, so it's only the animal eye factor. And just yesterday, nearly 15 former MLAs of the AI DMK, though they're from the 90s, they may not have as much relevance still at this point in Tamil Nadu, but yet, perception wise, uh, the BJP seems to be gaining ground uh, in a Dravidian state. The BJP has nothing to lose, even the 15 former MLAs getting 10 10 people each is good enough because they're starting from scratch. They're at zero today, so anything is a Shada, positive. Anything is, uh, is the NDA percentage was read out as 41%. And uh, that's with the AIDMK, no, PMK and I all said, smaller I said, parties. I said the NDA. What was the percentage? I don't know. I think around 30. It was 3%. 3.3% in 2019 for BJP alone. Yeah. In no, no, I'm talking of NDA percentage in the previous election, 2019. Should be around 30%. So any alliance gaining about 10 to 12 percent is a substantial gain and that will be resulting in a couple of seats at least. I am very happy that we are doing wonderfully well as far as the vote is concerned. But who is but the alliance, sir? Here you have no alliance with the AI. Just, AI. just wait and see. Just wait and see. Just AI wait and see. There's no alliance. And one factor, are you suggesting that there could be an alliance with the AI DMK? You may though, take it as, uh, as you like it. Said there's no room. There. The doors either, are closed. Either alliance or people coming and joining us. Okay. One more factor is Vijay's entry. He's ah. not contesting election. His entry will make a dent into the... No, but Vijay, Vijay is only contesting uh, assembly elections. But, but, but he will make a dent. He's going to participate in the election. Okay. He's going to participate in a the election. A quick word uh, to Lavanya. On this, Lavanya, BJP's vote share rising by 9% without the AI DMK in a Dravidian state. Mm -hmm. uh, your alliance with the DMK, at this point, no seat-sharing formula has been drawn out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very uneasy alliance there because will the DMK really seed ground? The 2019, they won... 38 Lok Sabha seats. Our survey this time also suggesting that they're going to sweep. Mm -hmm. So what what is the Congress's share there? See, we do not have any problems right now with our alliance partner in Tamil Nadu, right? We do not have any issues with Stalin and his party. So this will continue. India Bloc is, of course, in talks with the alliance partners. So we do not see a difference happening to our numbers. We ha we did well uh, in Tamil Nadu last time, and we are going to retain our seats in Tamil Nadu. No, I will make a point about the alliance between DMK and Congress in Tamil Nadu. It is under strain because the DMK wants to reduce the number of seats which gave them last time. They gave them 11 seats out of which 8 Congress won. But this time they are saying that, look, we are not able to give it that many. Okay. So there is a tension point there because of that. And I think, you know, the Congress will have to fight really hard to get that uh, number. Again. All right. Well, the Congress will have to fight hard. And the BJP also, in every sense, uh, Modi's vision of Char so far, they are allying the, the NDA right now allying with every possible party that they can. That's the coming. PMK, the DMDK, uh, one of uh, Anbu, Anbu Mani and the other of uh, late Vijay Kant. Both parties there. Uh, it appears that the NDA right now mulling over an alliance. Will that really benefit them remains to be seen. I'll have to switch now to our very own state, Karnataka. Let's take you through the numbers here. Uh, and, and looking at the numbers, Karnataka for the BJP is the only gateway in South India. As much as the Congress may have come into power here in the assembly of uh, uh, assembly elections just last year, it doesn't seem like they have that kind of impact, at least going by our numbers in the Lok Sabha elections. That suggests clearly for you, the numbers here, that voting patterns of assembly and uh, Lok Sabha are very different. At least looking at the numbers here, let me take you through uh, the seat share projection. The NDA seems to be retaining a large chunk of their seats out of the 26 it appears that this time too, that the NDA is likely likely to retain about 24 seats. So 24 out of 28. The last time in 2019, they managed to get 26 out of the 28. This time, despite the Congress government, uh, Congress party being, being in power here in Karnataka, it appears that the NDA will retain 24 seats. Uh, likely 22 to 24. Nagarjun Dwarkan to give us a little sense on that. Fact, uh, an alliance with the JDS has worked for the seems, BJP? Seems like it's working in old Mysore region, but I'm surprised that the Congress is not doing quite well as they expected to do. Yeah. It's just been a year since two elections of the Assembly and they come, came with a thumping majority over 40% vote share. Look at the decimal vote, num uh, vote share numbers here for Karnataka Congress right now. The guarantee seems to have faded off. People might have forgotten, but the Modi factor seems to have taken over every other aspect of the Congress party here. The guarantees seem to be not working for Lok Sabha as per the numbers that we are showing. Mm. 24 to NDA and 20, 24 to NDA and 4 to Congress. In fact, if you speak to the Congress MLS themselves, they agree off record yeah. that 
they are at single digit today. Modi is taking the cake no, away but, in Karnataka. But, but an internal survey of the Congress there suggests that uh, the Congress will get 15 to 20 seats. Nabila, that's, that's, what, Nabila, na, that's, na, on, that's on record. If you have a chai with them more frequent, they'll agree <laughs> with the numbers. Let's, let's go as for what they've uh, presented on record. Lavanya, on record. See, first of all, all, all these... seats is what your survey yeah. says. Yeah. First of all, all these exit polls and all of that has not worked even during the assembly elections. Opinion polls, right. Yeah. Uh, we were written off. We were written off completely and we made a thumping uh, victory in Karnataka. It's the same thing. Every time people would love to say, oh, the Modi magic. People would love to say, oh, we are not executing our promises. Everything. Well, Look well, at BJP. It is a broken house. It is a broken house. It polls. is a broken house. You congratulated house. India today for getting the polls right. I'm not, I'm not talking particularly about your channel. I'm saying... BJP in Karnataka is a broken house. There are so many factions. They're abusing each other every day. The level of political discourse is at its all-time worst in Karnataka but, in the BJP. And they expect to, to win 24. I think that's a joke. Not at all. We are retain their seats. No, Nabila, we are going to win 20 out of 28 seats in Karnataka. JDS and the BJP alliance has only disgruntled the JDS party workers. If you talk to an average JDS party worker, he's very unhappy about the shedding of the secular image no, but, of the but JDS. What is, but what does JDS anyway have, even if their workers are unhappy, it's not really going to dent the BJP, right? No, no, your point was JDS is benefiting the BJP. JDS in is sense, not benefiting the sense, BJP in, in any way. In areas where the JDS is it dominant, is, like Mandya, Hassan, no, no, Mysuru, Kodugu, JDS is, is dominant, JDS the BJP is not, does not have a presence there. Where is the and JDS, JDS presence? JDS help them. Nabila, where is the JDS presence in their strongholds today? The presence is very minimal. They got wiped out during the assembly elections, right? And today if you talk to a JDS party worker, he's very unhappy about the alliance that has happened with the BJP. So when JDS is not able to put its house together, when BJP is not able to keep its house together, what are they even talking about? Numbers of 24, 28? Well, the JDS I mean, they would love to. Devegara, they would love to say, oh, Modi makes all the difference. Very happy. They are hobnobbing in Delhi, back and forth, uh, you know, uh, cozying up with the senior yeah, leadership would of the to, BJP know, would... at this point. Has the JDS alliance with the BJP was, uh, captain worked for the NDA here? There is a for with the, uh, JDS. In the previous election which she is uh, talking of, in Karnataka, last assembly election, BJP polled 8.35 8 lakh votes more than the previous election. But a large chunk of JDS votes went to Congress. That is why they swept the floor uh, election. What I am trying to say, in Karnataka, there is a history of people voting differentially for assembly and Lok Sabha. Mm. Modi is a factor. Ram Janmubi is a factor. Okay, so you're All saying these that things. Modi is a factor itself. Yes. It's not your leaders. And, and it's we not will... your leaders. And I'd like to ask you a quick word. How many of the uh, MLAs, uh, how many of the MPs are you going to retain? Bazis, Nagarjun broke that news for us that nearly eight to nine senior BJP MPs are going to be replaced. Is this a no, strategy? Eight, nine, more than that. More than that. Nine, one, one second. Eight, nine senior BJP MPs have opted to not contest. Opted They've already done. Not to yes. Nice That's way. news. That's the, that that is, that is if you want, I'll tell the names. They've already announced. They've already announced. They've not announced. They've announced. They've already announced. And no, no, one second, one second. Some of them have been pushed. Mr. Nagarjuna, Nagarjuna, one second. What I am trying to tell, uh, no substantiated by Mr. Upadhyaya, this is one part. Secondly, nobody has announced the uh, uh, candidature now. We will do something that will be announced to you well in advance. So basically, the NDA or the BJP wants to fight in the name of Modi. It's not your local yeah. leaders, it's Modi itself. No, no. Lok Sabha election, it is always national issue. Okay. I told you, you to stop me. And, and One it is, works for you, you don't want to I change said, the winning I, I said for Modi, Ramjanam Bhumi. Developmental Ram initiatives. Ram Janmabhumi is a black factor here. Yes, no, definitely. I'm going to ask yes. uh, uh, Ram no, Krishna. Ram Janmabhumi is a factor. I'd like to ask you. And no, also, I, sir. I think it's just an add-on because as it is, Modi, I mean, you know, uh, sells in Karnataka. I mean, I, I'm a little bit surprised they went for an alliance with JDS because they are 51% of the votes last time. And it's only assembly it came down. And probably that, you know, factor helped them um, make the decide that, you know, let's go with you the know, JDS. I'm not surprised Otherwise, that the BJP is allying with anybody. 
Yeah, I think no, it's the target that they have kept Char so far. They are going into alliance with the smallest of no, the no, small no, parties, irrespective I'll, of what the contribution would be. It's a perception war at this point. I'll tell you why they did that. Because I think, you know, the, the very fact that during, during the elections that Bombay government was not able to give a good government and there was this 40% Sarkar uh, allegation, which all stuck. And which is the reason why BJP did badly in the last election, in spite of the fact the Prime Minister went around about 24 times across the... And he was the so cut off. So you're saying Karnataka, it was lack of Karnataka governance? BJP, the Modi magic for eight work. months, he did not announce the leader of the opposition. Uh, he's saying Modi magic, he's he's saying Modi magic is what's so, going to work. I, I think it the alliance work, with the JDS will work for both of them because no, they don't no, get into each other's territory. Nabila, looking at Karnataka, Karnataka has always voted differently in terms of assembly, in terms of... Yeah, that's another factor. And we also have consecutive changes of every five years in assembly government. but. Since 2004, BJP has been performing well in Lok Sabha in Karnataka. It has. And as a Vijendra factor worked, I'd like to ask you, uh, Katil, uh, who was the BJP president, really wasn't as effective. The BJP was unhappy. I, they've they've uh, you turned him away. They've now placed Vijendra at the helm of affairs. Yadurapa factor, his son Vijendra factor, the BJP may have woken up to how popular... Yadurapa is a little too late, but I, will this time no, no, help the BJP? A, I think they made a mistake by removing uh, Yadurapa at that yes. time. And that is, they paid a price for it. Now, after that, to you know, compensate for that, now they brought in Vijay. Though he's not a popular candidate within the party, I mean, many seniors are not happy that you know somebody who's so young and who's just a first-time MLA has been made a party president. But in BJP, it's Modi and Amit Shah who decide. Correct. And he has the mozo to ca carry the party. Sure, and the way sure he has he? gone around in the last two months, it shows that he's capable and he's he's an upcoming leader. I'm sure with Edurapa's support, he will prove that, you know, he's, see the very fact that the, but, Modi is there in the background, Nabila, when if any 20 plus to the, you um, know, seats, he can also word. claim, he can also claim, I also contributed. Yeah, Lavanya. So a quick word, I mean, uh, Modi is backing the dynasty politics in Karnataka. Like Mr. Modi mentioned. <laughs> in BJP. He, in, he yeah. mentioned in the parliament that yeah. people can come in but not run the party. Right, yeah. but definitely. Also, so Vijayendra is not this, running the party, I'm point, sure. At this point, yeah. Edurapa is really not holding a position. It's no, no, uh, of course. It's Both his sons are in the party. Position. The first time so MLA gets to be the party president. Politics, yeah. But a quick word, Lavanya. The huh. Congress is struggling to deliver its guarantees. Absolutely here. not, Nabila. Crores a year. Absolutely that not. Roll out. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. In a week's time, it, in no, a week's no, time, it, it is a high, really presenting the budget. A high, Will that work in your favor for Lok Sabha? Let me, let me clear the misconception. It is a misconception that is being uh, spread by the BJP. Let me come to my own uh, coastal belt out of 100 people for example who are eligible for the uh, you know all these schemes 92 people have applied and out of that it is 50 percent of bjp voters okay. who under the leadership said oh we do not want any of these schemes okay so, kerala what are the what are the projections really show for the state of kerala uh, as we see uh, looking at the caste out of the community religious equation there in kerala 52 percent hindus uh, in kerala the rest Split between Muslims and Christians, about 27% Muslims and the rest about 17-18% Christians. In a state of Kerala, as per our prediction here, let me start first with the seat share. Uh, and here's the numbers. BJP, the NDA collectively, does not gain anywhere in the state of Kerala. It appears that uh, they remain uh, in... in uh, at a complete zero there. I don't know if I could say that comfortably because now the BJP is also looking at alliances with some of the smaller players in Kerala. I think Captain can give us an insight on that. But for, as per our predictions, it says a clear zero. Last time to this time, no improvement. Uh, when it comes to seat share, barely about... 2% or barely about from 15% to 17%. That's, that's just 2% extra uh, vote share for the BJP and the NDA there in Kerala. Now, we're looking at the India Alliance, uh, whopping 20 seats out of Kerala has 20. The India Alliance, uh, UDF and the Congress, along with a few other smaller players like the IUML, all collectively to win 20 out of 20 as per our prediction. Lavanya, uh, take it away. Is, first of all, is Rahul... Of the left parties and the Congress, so that's very important. We, well, we don't have the breakup as yet, but I will give you the numbers. Is Rahul Gandhi contesting from Vayanad? Yes, he's contesting <laughs> he? from Vayanad. Well, he will continue okay. to contest from Vayanad. And last time we had contested, the coalition had contested in all 20 seats and we lost only one seat last time. This time we are planning to retain that seat as well. So with our um, coalition partners, we hope to retain all 20 seats out of 20 in Kerala. And the one in uh, Lakshadweep as well. 
Okay, you hope. But but we saw what happened in Lakshadweep. Prime right. Minister Modi that came was... in and the whole game turned around. And not just that, uh, their principal opponents, like left and the Congress in Kerala, principal opponents. Mm. Left and the TMC are principal opponents in Bengal. Mm. How are you managing the India alliance seat sharing talks? Because the moment the opposition and the principal uh, party comes into uh, alliance, mm. it doesn't work. The cards don't gel. We have seen it in Karnataka also. See, Congress okay. and JDS didn't gel well. We are not in a coalition in the state of Kerala. We are on a national alliance with them. In Kerala, we will be fighting against the uh, Communist Party, against Pin Pinrai Vijayan's party, and we have done that last time as well. And Navila mentioned Lakshadweep as much. As Lakshadweep made a news in the social media, the ground reality is very different. The houses, the uh, you know, the shepherds, the fishermen, and all the residents of Lakshadweep today, if you talk to them, they are very appalled I'm at sorry, what has been happening in the last I'm three sorry, years. But, uh, in the Lok Sabha, predominantly the UDF and the Congress collectively have done well for, yeah. for eternity. If yeah. anything, if things had to be different in Lakshadweep, the onus is on the UDF and the Congress. Okay. So, what have you done, if I may ask? As, sorry. As as the, as the Congress and UDF uh, combine, mm. always fares well in Lok Sabha elections. Yes. You all have been dominant even last time. Yes. So what has the, uh, the Congress and the UDF collectively done for Lakshadweep? You are saying the situation of uh, people there on ground is really bad. We encourage Lakshadweep to have its identity and its life. We have never hurt their interests. What uh, Under the new governor there, what has happened is their houses have been raised, their gazing areas have been raised. And if you look at uh, Lakshadweep, as a reality. Today, everybody feels they are entitled to Lakshadweep more than the residents of Lakshadweep, and that's a wrong attitude to go into any place. Look what one visit of Prime Minister Modi did to Lakshadweep, uh, Captain. Uh, it made a lot of waves in social media. Yeah, and I'm one visit of Prime Minister kind of Modi turned it around it like magic. Now, we've got to see how far yes. and fast development happens, but at least a conversation has started. Yes, Lakshadweep is going to be the center of attraction as far as tourism is concerned. And we are so doing yeah, one, everything. One aircraft flying there from no. Cochin. <laughs> one aircraft, one Air India aircraft flies there. Nee. If at all you have the flight cancelled, then you can't reach Lakshmi. Nee, nee. What I'm trying, trying to say. Going. Oh, whatever I'm trying to say, whether it is flight or no flight, it is going to be a tourist destination, which is already seen. The second part is what you mentioned about Kerala, the uh, figures uh, yeah, you mentioned yeah, about it. Yeah, increasing zero. By only yes. 2%. So I, I understand. Yes, BJP or India is not doing well at the at the moment. But we have a long strategy for Kerala. We will we will have what the government. What are the strategies? Uh, I would like to ask you, Suresh Gopi from Trishur is one of the most popular. Is one of the most popular candidates for the BJP in Kerala. But doesn't seem like the BJP valued him enough. Suresh Gopi, uh, who was an actor, yes. uh, it appears he and uh, the other BJP leaders are always having a tiff. So if any chance that the BJP has it from Trishur, what are you going to do that to harness that vote base there? The seats will be announced at due course of time. We know where we have to place our best bets, and we will do it. In Kerala, BJP is going to increase its vote share. That's all. He's not on. Yes. Mr. Ram. Look, in Kerala, they've never won a single seat so far in the 75 years. So if at all there is a chance, I think this time they might do it because of various issues of uh, Hindu. Sir, but our number shows things. a clear zero. There is absolutely no, no that increase. Is what, that, in, fact, that, in fact, they're doing better in Tamil Nadu than Kerala. <laughs> no, no, so, the point is, point is they are at 12%. If they increase it to 15 or 16%, I think they have a fair chance of winning one okay, seat. Okay, explain Maybe. to us. I have a question here. Explain to us how this works. 53% Hindus in Kerala. Uh, hasn't the Hindutva agenda of the BJP really worked in a state which mi with majority Hindu population? Kerala is something totally different. I think we need to accept the fact that Kerala is a God's own country where things work differently. Um, and just like uh, the India alliance has realized that they can't have an alliance there. So they are fighting each other. Please Look, last time, also, the last time also, the last time also, in spite of Kerala. fighting each other, the Congress won 15 seats. I mean, the, the highest number of seats last time they won from Kerala. Will they be able to retain that? I have my own doubts because well, Pinar Revision will, will is putting a big Bayanad? fight and whether Rahul will be able to get the seat because IOML has put a condition you have to give us one seat extra in uh, you know compensation for that yes. and if you don't give we'll not give why not you so know, this we being also the case, saw the BJP, we saw the BJP cozying up, up. we saw the BJP cozying up we saw the BJP. You know, I, I, it is really? it amuses it's, it's me. It amuses There's a lot of speculation. Me. No, no, it amuses me. The so-called analysis, the so-called so experts have been writing Rahul Gandhi off for the last 20 years. So, I you know? have a quick question. BJP no. was seen cozying up with the Christian community, but it appears the Christian community didn't sort of give way, especially after what happened in Manipur. So, you failed one, on that account. One section has already joined us. Which section? 
money satisfaction. Okay. Yes, they have said. So, Nabila, if you have seen election, Kerala. Last election, I, I have gone to Kerala for the campaign. Huh. I have gone to different churches. They have openly come and joined us. So, uh, so Nabila, I need us. to make a quick point. Uh, Kerala BJP does not agree with the national BJP. We have seen the protest last two days ago. Yeah. And also, when it comes to the Christian community in Kerala, the bishops who went and my, met the prime minister have been already removed from their own religion by yeah. their own church. They have been thrown out. So, Kerala is a different ball game altogether. The, uh, it doesn't work like how it works in the rest of India. And people have been writing of Rahul Gandhi from day one of his career. He's still around. He's still winning his elections. He will win by and out. This you know, issue, this issue sir. came up when Lao Jihad was happening with the Christian community. They woke up. No, but that is when they started coming no, to no us. No matter what, uh, our, at least our survey numbers suggest that the BJP has uh, really not made any headway, but, but even with have, the anti-Lao Jihad campaign. Uh, nonetheless, it's okay. Nonetheless, sir, toward the state. Nonetheless, that is a large number. Uh, thank you. So we have no, we have absolutely no time. No, states to cover. Development to why not? <laughs> I'm sure you will have a lot of questions about, oh, has Congress brought any development to India, sir? <laughs> you know, but I'm uh, sure. ultimately, if the India alliance here in our survey, as per numbers, is showing very strong, uh, though a slight uh, drop from the last 2019, 83% vote share, our numbers this time for India block in Kerala shows 78% uh, roughly. But it's going to be a very uneasy alliance because the LDF and the UDF otherwise are warring. This time to come together for Lok Sabha, how many seats are they going to part with? What's going to be the seat sharing? Equation. None of that has been discussed, by the way. There's no seat share formula yet uh, for the India block in Kerala, but we'll see. There are still two more months away. Let me cut across to Andhra Pradesh. A good look at Andhra Pradesh. Let me cut straight across to Andhra Pradesh. YSRCP's Andhra Pradesh, who's won two times around. What's the numbers looking like this time? For Andhra Pradesh, here you go. The seat share. As per the NDA, let me start with again a zero in Andhra Pradesh. The India block, zero. Now, the YSRCP from 2019's 25 seats that they got, 25, uh, Andhra Pradesh has 25 Lok Sabha seats out of the 25, all 25 that was won by Jagan Mohan's YSRCP. This time, they're showing a drop of nearly 17 seats, so barely eight that the YSRCP, as per our numbers, will be able to scrape, scrape through. Now, the winner here, at least largely from the looks of it, is Chandra Babu Naidu's TDP. Uh, and, and here I would say very clearly that there, were lot, there was a lot of talk about Chandra Babu Naidu itself fizzling out. He was almost written off. Look how he's resurfacing. And now news coming in just in the last 24 hours that TDP is likely to go into an alliance with the NDA. Chandra Babu is in Delhi talking to Abhik Shah yeah. and JP Nadda and they would like to have an alliance there. But I don't know whether it will happen. Yeah, yeah Nagarjun. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh is also reaching Delhi today. Okay. Meeting the BJP leaders. We oh. don't know what the conversation will be. In. Within a span of 24 hours, BJP leaders have met the LOP, are meeting the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. But what is interesting is the drop of uh, YSRCP to eight seats. But I was in Andhra Pradesh, Nabila, a few yeah. weeks back. Jagan seems to be still popular when it comes to the assembly level. Uh, Lok Sabha elections are fought on a bigger issues on national issues, but assembly seems like Jagan has still a good foot. But, but you know, Nagarjun, the resurgence, 2019 Lok Sabha, Jagan swept, swept. all 25 seats. No, no, the resurgence seems to be of Naidu. Since the time he's come out of the prison, he's been touring the state. Before that, his, his son was touring it, and then there was a Padayatra that he had taken up. So, in the last two years, the Naidus and the TDP, fa uh, TDP faction, the party, have done their bit is on ground. Is what, you know, what and another factor here. that could be adding to the boost of TDP is Pawan Kalyan. Pawan Kalyan's Janasena is not really a force as such, but Pavan Kalyan itself is such he's a popular a face, he's a, he's a big film star and he's been hobnobbing uh, with the Sakapos. Delhi unit and uh, TDP, he's been, uh, he's been he, in fact he has already entered into an alliance with the BJP this, in Telangana, so TDP, Janasena, BJP this, as one unit, could that boost yeah, the NDA's numbers? The NDA is going to make large presence in this election as far as Lok Sabha is concerned. Sir, if Naidu comes to NDA, if Naidu comes to NDA. I said NDA. If Naidu comes, he's yes. not come yet. No, I am telling no, you, no, NDA is going to make a presence. Now leave it to us to decide who so is, is going to come. Is Naidu coming to NDA? Just wait and see. No, I think there is a big problem there because Naidu want to retain the maximum number of seats, yeah. which BJP is not ready to concede because he says I am the dominant partner in Andhra Pradesh and I would like to contest as many seats as possible. But then there is also the problem that in 2019 he worked against the BJP. He joined uh, with the other uh, you know yes. anti-BJP parties and formed an alliance. And you know he had a panga with the Bodhi, mm. which is not going to help him to come back here now, right now. 
So unless he's ready to stoop down, That's because right. he has gone down completely, he was in jail for two months, and he, for his, uh, you know, political comeback, it's very important for him to right. get an alliance. You know, so Lavanya, Lavanya, if I can ask you, uh, United Andhra, the kind of presence that Congress had, you're really a dominant force uh, for United and Andhra. What an I was just about to ask, what an unfortunate state of affairs for the Congress, a complete wipeout in Andhra Pradesh, mm -hmm. uh, and you, and some call this a dirty game, feeling via Sharmila as the Congress president opposite her own brother in the state of Andhra Pradesh. But yet, as per numbers, there seems to be no impact. Well, uh, Nabila, first of all, it proves that Congress is here to take tough decisions and not comfortable decisions. We gave in to the call of a statehood for Telangana and we promised and we delivered that. And secondly, in politics, I think all is fair because uh, it is Sharmila's choice to contest or to fight against her brother. She was a force Sharmila to reckon, was a party. Sharmila was a party force was to reckon with in, the, in, the, in, the, in Andhra. DP. And it Telangana was her brother party. who backstabbed her. It was supposed to be launched in Telangana. And it was her brother what who happened? backstabbed her. What happened for, for the Congress to move her it, it, it to was, Andhra Pradesh? It was her brother who backstabbed her in Andhra Pradesh and it is her decision to come and join a Congress party or join hands with Congress party. We are going to make a difference with Sharmila at the helm in Andhra Pradesh. What's the difference? For, I mean, us, for us, gaining even a small percentage in Andhra makes a big difference because at this point of time, we have zero presence in Andhra. So anything, no, like any, any difference is a great victory for us in Andhra. You know, people of Telangana at least seems to have have uh, seem to have for forgiven the Congress party for uh, the delay in the in declaring yeah, Telangana a separate state, but uh, it appears that. In Andhra Pradesh, there's uh, no presence anymore. It's almost a complete. So we are planning to make a change. Out. We are making a, a change. Complete with Sharmila okay. at the with helm. Sharmila at the helm, we are yes. hoping to make uh, make some change. But looking at the numbers here, the NDA to get 17, if at all uh, TDP, uh, if um, Chandrababu Naidu's TDP allies with the BJP, then that's all yours. Uh, it's 17. Uh, it is what your data says. Yeah. What I yeah. Make a large Nabila, I think right. this is largely also because of the Kapus and the Kamas caste coming together, consolidating and and joining hands with TDP and uh, Jansena. Hmm. Jansena seems to be doing pretty well this time in this election in 2024. All right. Jansena, ja, but Jansena is really has no presence as of now. It's only Pawan Kalyan's popularity, sir. Popularity. You see, these the smaller parties bring in three, four percent, which is what is happening in UP. Hmm. See, this, this is what BJP is, you know, uh, cashing in on UP. They bring in smaller parties who bring in three, four percent, which will add to the voter, you know, total voter percentage. In Andhra Pradesh, so, just wait and see. All right, Definitely sir, for, from what we see here in Andhra Pradesh, it's almost a clean sweep for, as per our numbers for Chandra Babu Naidu's TDP. And if TDP joins hands with the BJP, then they have a clear win here. 17 seats for the NDA coming from one state of uh, Andhra Pradesh alone. As per our opinion polls, we've got to see. Uh, also, assembly elections for Andhra Pradesh is going to be just days apart from the Lok Sabha elections. So a lot of it will actually rub off. Uh, even for Lok Sabha. Let me cut our focus finally to Telangana, the state where Congress has been chest thumping uh, its victory, saying that BJP has fully, they've, they've managed to fully wipe out uh, the BJP from the southern part of India. Uh, and this they said after their victory in Telangana. Let me take our viewers through the numbers. A quick look at the seat share for Telangana. In 2019, NDA, which was four, uh, 2024, it's projected to be one less. So the NDA seems to be uh, not really gaining, in fact, losing in strength in the state of Telangana after the Congress's victory. The India block here, though, we see gaining significantly. So uh, 2019 numbers with three for the India block, which is uh, specifically the Congress. Three now are numbers suggesting that they're going to get nearly 10. So that's almost seven uh, increase in uh, terms of tally. So 10 seats. Uh, it, it, out of 17, 10 seats likely to be in the Congress's hand. And the others which uh, appear yeah, apparently... BRS as well as the AIMIM. BRS, AIMIM. BRS also has lost out, Nagarjan. Looking at the numbers here. Others here is BRS. That's so BRS... for AIMIM, 3 for BRS. So, so out of the last times, 10 for BRS uh, no, or 9 for BRS? 9 for BRS. Nine for BRS. Yeah, now they're getting six. only 6. No, coming down by 6, there are 3. Okay, so BRS shows out of 9 last time, 
will get three this time. For the Congress that were three last time, we'll get ten this time. For the NDA that was four last time, one minus. The BJP loses out on one, we'll manage to get three. Telangana is a tough state for uh, the regional party now because the Congress has just won a majority government three months back or two months back and riding high on the honeymoon period still, the popular figure still remains to be the Chief Minister of Telangana, Mr. Raven Thredi. So his magic seems to be working here. They are going at ten. In fact, Telangana Congress passed a resolution also asking Sonia Gandhi to contest either from Medak or uh, Bongir or uh, or in fact Kamam as well. So the resolution has been passed because they are saying that let's Sonia Gandhi file nomination, she'll win. This is the numbers that we are talking about. Ten seats for Congress in Telangana. A big, big, uh, a big BRS is three. They were at nine before. K. Chandrasekhar Rao, who had a fall recently, is not even in the session today as we speak. So that party has been reduced to three. What a shocker for the BRS. I, in fact, I'd like to ask you, Captain, let me go straight to the BJP's uh, spokesperson here. Is there going to be an alliance with the BRS ahead of Lok Sabha? Because that's what has happened in the past in other states. The BJP is known to tap into uh, the regional parties like JDS and BJP here in Karnataka. Will there be a BRS BJP in Telangana? As you rightly said in the initial uh, discussion as we started, how do we get into the southern uh, states? So obviously in next uh, 15 days, one month, many strategies will be worked out and our vote share has not come down. You know, announced it. I think our vote share has not come down. And to take four to six or eight or ten, whatever needs to be done will be done in Telangana also. Your vote share has increased by one percent. Yes, whatever it is, I said. increase yes. in vote share it for the BJP. Up. So Telangana it, really, BJP has... Uh, and, and do you believe that there's been a big mistake in replacing uh, the Kishan Reddy with Bandi Sanjay? Bandi Sanjay for the BJP was seemingly a more popular candidate. Doesn't seem like Kishan Reddy's presence there worked out in any sense. In fact, you've lost out all the more now. It is history. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> We we'll look ahead. Will the BJP ever accept mistakes? No, they made a mistake. They're saying that let's move In forward. Karnataka, yes, they removed yes, uh, Yudhirapa. In Telangana, they removed Bandi Sanjay. But let's bring in... Uh, I want to make a point about Telangana. Yeah. You know, it's not very easy to get the numbers there because of the complexities of, uh, you know, calculations. Now, BRS is going to fight really hard, having lost the government, having been in power for, having been in power for, you know, 10 years, and they were very confident of winning the elections, but they didn't. They went very badly. So, that being the case, they would like to do well in the Lok Sabha elections. My projection is probably they will, you know, maybe keep, the, you know, maybe seven or eight seats. All and right. Congress may not be able to get 10 seats as you are projecting. No, but, but at, as per our Projections, Lavanya, it appears that Raven Reddy's popularity and the momentum of the Assembly elections victory will continue even to Lok Sabha. Uh, what is it? Is it Raven Reddy or is it Rahul Gandhi? It is, uh, <laughs> it is Raven Reddy as well because if you look at Karnataka also, we had our regional leaders who made a difference. So if you look at uh, South politics, it is the regional leaders who make a huge impact during the elections. So yes, Raven Reddy is a very good organizational man and he, as a PCC president, he's done well. We will continue doing well in Telangana in the uh, you know, Lok Sabha Rahul Gandhi constantly well. slams BJP for its association with Adani. He says mm -hmm. that Adani is not an ethical uh, businessman. Mm -hmm. He's indulged in illegal activities. But in state of Telangana, Raven Reddy is openly hobnobbing with Adani. So here, Several projects yeah, with Adani right. being so, announced. So, yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, if I may respond. Is yes. that double speak? Yes. Isn't yes. that double speak? Yes. If I may, if I may. Quickly, respond. quickly. Yeah. yeah. So we are not uh, okay with with the laws and the rules of the nation being bent and um, the friends being accommodated bypassing the laws of India or any other state. If he's going to do business within the legal framework, we are all for it. I think Adani uh, should be in business in all states if it is within the legal framework. But if you're going to fly to a foreign country and say, hey, my buddy is going to get this contract because he's my buddy, and that is where we have a problem. Those, those are ethics. I mean, let's, let's not speak specifically of ethics, uh, which which political I think, party? Which no, no. I think that is exactly has, has what issue. Really really no, no, Nabila. That, that exactly is the answer. That is the answer. We have a problem with laws being broken to accommodate friends. So if if, if Adani has broken so laws, then the man, then then how can a how can how can Congress party in any state associate with him? Only in Congress rules. Let me repeat. I think you All forgot right. the first sentence. It's we are perfectly fine with working with anybody within the legal framework, okay. Nabila. All right, thank you very much. Uh, it's a quick, uh, as we see here, a quick roundup here.
uh, Nagarjun, uh, out of the number of seats that we see for the southern part of India, be it Kerala, Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, it appears for the BJP, the only gateway is where we are standing. That's Karnataka. And if they get into an alliance with uh, TDP in Andhra, then they get a good 17 from Andhra as well. Seems like the BJP will repeat what they had done earlier. I don't see any gain apart from one or two seats in a couple of states here and there. But the regional parties in southern India seems to be much stronger stopping uh, uh, the BJP party like DMK, the YSRCP and the TDP. As of now, they're not in alliance yet. And the JDS here, uh, who are a stronger party, but within alliance in the BJP right now and the smaller parties in oh, Kerala. Right. They're the ones who are stopping BJP to enter the south. The national party still have a lot to uh, gain here. The only takeaway for Congress is Telangana. And in Karnataka, they're still doing bad. All right. And From in 29 to 40 plus. That's from, what's going to happen. From then to now, the, the BJP doesn't seem to have significantly gained, but they've retained. They managed to retain uh, largely their vote La share. Last point, Mr. Karge is from Karnataka and southern part of India. So his question of being the ACC president... I really should have picked up the tally for uh, South India. He's All right. to contest this election. That's also important. All right. Is Malikarjan Karge, the Congress chief, going to be contesting election this time from Karnataka for Lok Sabha? Another big really? predominant really? question. Thank you very much. In Thank you very much, no. uh, sir, for joining us. Well, there you have it. Mood of the nation, South India. All the five states, we've shown you clear projections. Thanks very much for joining us. Stay tuned for our continued broadcast on Pan India, Mood of the Nation with Rahul and Rajdeep that starts 6 p.m. for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.